Hello guys, we are Sensor Tech Forums team. I'm Gary and this video is about how to remove Ultra Crypto, also known as Crypt1 ransomware, from your system. Ok, let's start. First we need to start the PC into safe mode. This will isolate all files and objects created by the ransomware so we can remove it efficiently. Press and hold Windows button, then press R. In the field type MC config. Click on boot tab and mark save boot option. Apply. OK. And restart. After the restart, the word save mode should appear in the corners of your monitor. After the removal process, you should go through the same steps and unmark save boot option in order to start the windows normally. Now we can continue to the removal process. You can automatically remove the ransomware using anti-malware software. It will scan for all malicious files on your PC. After the scan, you can remove all files associated with the ransomware as well as all other existing threads on your computer just with one click on the button. Other option is manual removal of the ransomware. Now Venti will show you how to do it. Hello, this is Venti at Sensors Tech Forum and I'm gonna take you through the manual removal process of Crypt1 ransomware. Now, this is maybe a tricky process so you really need to know what are the ransomware's files named. Uh, okay, let's start. Now, first you're gonna have to open the start menu and go to folder options. Then you're gonna have to go on the view tab. After that, you're gonna go to hidden files and folders and click on show hidden files and folders and then click on apply after which click on OK. This will allow all of the hidden files on your computer to show up. Uh, this way you can locate any other files besides the main executable. Now you definitely should know what is the main executable's name. Uh, after you know it you can simply find it using another method Windows search. Simply type in your computer's search bar uh, file extension double dot the name of extension which is in this case exe and then the name of the file uh, with spaces in between them and then you should simply start searching for it um, windows will should locate the file uh, you should wait for the bar to go up to, to 100 percent and yeah here you can see that we have recovered the file uh, discover the file and after you find it uh, simply shift and delete the file permanently and yeah if you cannot delete the file uh, make sure that it's stopped in Windows Task Manager because some files uh, like the Crypt1 ransomware run as active process now the next step for us is uh, to go ahead at the registry editor by typing reg edit in run or in the Windows search bar in the registry editor we can remove several different registries. One of the registries that Crypt1 ransomware may create is the one which changes your wallpaper every time. This is in the key control panel desktop and the value is named wallpaper. You should delete this value as soon as you find it. Now, after you've deleted it, the second value is the more important one. Uh, this is the value that is basically runs the ransomware encryptor every time you start Windows. It's located in the disk key, H key current user. And then if you go on software, and after that click on Microsoft, after which go on Windows, current version, and then run. And the key should be with random letters and words, but it may also have the name of the ransomware. And if you click on properties of the key, sometimes you may modify the key, sometimes you may discover the malicious executable of the ransomware. Now, this key should be deleted, and uh, yeah, basically after that, 
um, you need to clean up your registry editor for any errors in it and any syntax flaws. To do that, you're gonna need to use a tool called Windows Resource Kits. Uh, to do that, you can download it from the description of our video and install it in, your, in its default folder in Program Files. As you can see, installation process is quite easy. You just have to click on Next, Next, and then Install, after which um, approve it by user account control and then click on Finish. Uh, after doing so, you're gonna need a, a script which we've also posted in the description of our video. Uh, it's this script. Uh, simply copy it and paste it in a text document like this text document. And then click on File, Save As, save it on the desktop, and name it something easy that you can remember. Uh, yeah, but first you have to save it as all files and name it, for example, fix.bat. Remember the .bat, it's very important. Uh, this is the extension of the file and you should always have it. Okay, we've seen now here that the file is created. After it is, you should simply copy it and paste it in program files, Windows resource kits, tools, and simply paste the fixed bad file there. And now after you do that, it's time to begin the registry cleaning process itself. In order to do that, you're going to need to press the Windows bot key on your keyboard. And this time, instead of reg edit, type CMD. And when typing CMD, simply type the following code. CD and the directory of your resource kits, which in this case it's C, Program Files, Windows Resource Kits, Tools. This command, typing it, will allow you to enter this folder from the Windows command prompt. After you do this, simply type the, na type the name of the file and hit enter, and it will start fixing your registry entries by using the resource kits. Uh, yeah, you should wait because it may take some time. This is why we're gonna pause this video after several seconds. To save you some time. And now here we see that uh, it has fixed one failed error right here. So yeah. Uh, basically after cleaning your registries uh, your next step is to try and recover your files because basically now you've removed the ransomware from your computer this might be a tricky process there's different ways to recover the files you can save them um, you can recover them using uh, data recovery software like this one for example uh, this is not a 100% guarantee that it, this method will work for you but it, you may recover at least some of your data because uh, this what this program does is it scans for the sectors of the hard drive to find any uh, segments of the files that may have been left there. So yeah, basically you can download any data recovery software. We chose this one and after a few minutes you can see here that uh, the program has recovered some files and simply we select the files and click on recover and they are saved in a folder on our choosing. Uh, now, thanks for watching this video guys. Um, it is no guarantee that you may recover all your files but this is one alternative solution that you should try instead of paying the ransom. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.